Hey team, this is Leo. We're just doing a quick post-mortem of a uh, support request that uh, happened the other day. So um, looks like, let's take a look at this. This is support request 1683706. This is for Jim Johnston. Um, he had a domain name that had uh, expired and we needed to renew it. Um, sounded a little frantic yesterday. It was created a day ago. Um, 11 13 uh, at 3 47 p.m. you know if you hover over these uh, created things down here you can tell with the exact date of it uh, the description was a little off um, it was placed in the queue uh, with the description of a project and said that the website uh, registration um, was out and it was down and something about the red res, web strike registration. Uh, what had really happened, there's nothing wrong with the website. Uh, the domain name is completely separate from the website hosting. So the domain name had expired and we needed to renew it. Um, so, you know, just the understanding of the difference between what does a domain do and then what does a website do. And we need to be able to capture that information and talk, uh, speak intelligently about that. So uh, the priority was increased to two, which is good because that's how it got pushed to the top of the deck to be handled quickly. So it did follow the rules of the queue, even though it was newer than many of the things that are in the queue. Um, the priority level was changed to two, which is good. Um, looks like um, William di did a couple of tasks here. Um, the uh, I think I added this. William there wasn't a time entry so there, there always needs to be time entries about what it takes to create the ticket the support request and then any work that you did in normal human languages over here for the members um, I posted this one uh, what I ended up doing whenever I got involved was just uh, logged into simple safe went to true domains searched for talking about behavior um, found it and then renewed it for three years I also went back in and renewed speakingofbehavior.com for three years after I noticed uh, that was also under Jim Johnston. Um, I uploaded uh, this. Um, let's see, something about the domain name. I can't remember what, the, what exactly this was. But let's uh, take a look at it. Uh, uh, oh, it was probably just something about the uh, technology. Oh, I added technology. So I added I added another technology um, type that is domain, and it lets us put in information about that domain. So if you click on this, it should tell you um, the expiration date, the registrar, and the URL. So anytime we have someone's domain managed, we should have this information in here. We should also create a technology type for other services that we have so that it's easy for us to know how to go about getting to the details of that uh, technology or that service. No files attached. Um, looks like it, uh, did it change status? So it was in the queue, and then it uh, auto-assigned to the support nerds, which support nerds have all of the support nerds in the, in the group support nerd. Uh, then it was changed by me to in progress. Uh, William, you need to change things to in progress while you're working on them. So make sure you do that. Uh, I did the work, and then um, sent Jim an email just saying, hey, I apologize for the delay in renewing the domain. Apparently we had a hiccup here and then we, uh, we've got it fixed now and we've also got your domain um, register uh, <laughs> renewed again. And then I changed it to closed pending MCN review, which gets it out of the queue and gets it out of everybody's way and puts it over on the plate of the member care nerds. That also automatically assigns it to the member care nerds. Then Molly went in and she did her job. She called uh, Jim and talked to him about it and explained everything. He hadn't seen my email yet, so she had to bring him up to speed. And he seems cool with that. And then she changed it to closed for billing, which is really good. And then whenever you close it for billing, it gets auto-assigned to Ryan for him to uh, do the uh, billing magic in QuickBooks so we send an invoice out and get paid for it. Um, Ryan doesn't really have enough time to do that kind of billing information, so I think I'm going to change that auto-assign 
um, just to, I'll probably create another team for billing or accounting and put that to me and uh, Cliff and uh, Brandon for right now so that one of us can get in and do the billing uh, whenever we see these things get changed over. And now the billing has been complete, so I can go ahead and change it to uh, uh, closed and make sure that everything is cool. And that's that one. But uh, mainly it was, you know, we need to follow the rules about moving this thing along, changing to in progress, adding our time entries and any costs associated. Um, I think everything else was okay, but you know, just uh, understanding too what what the request is. So that needs to be better qualified to understand that you know it was a domain that had expired and we needed to uh, renew it. Um, nothing about a website being down or any problems with the website or anything or any of that stuff. The also the the terms were not correct for uh, Jim and Judith. So I went in and changed it over to do on receipt, which is what everybody should be. Um, but, you know, it looked okay other than the, the few things that I mentioned. All right, so that's uh, just a little recap of this one support request.